Hi, my name's Tina. I'm the Director of Admissions here at Columbia Bible College, and today I have Curtis with me. We're going to do some interview questions. Sounds good. Let's do it. What is social entrepreneurship? That's a great question. So social entrepreneurship is business with the triple bottom line. People, planet, profit. All three of those have to happen to be a social uh, enterprise. So you've got to steward people well, look after your people. Most businesses do that. You want to look after the planet, okay? So all about sustainability, uh, looking after God's creation, that's incredibly important. And the third one is you do have to be profitable. It's not about making profit. Notice we put that one third. So people, planet, profit. You're doing all three of those in a sustainable way. That's a social uh, enterprise. So what is an entrepreneur then? Great, so an entrepreneur is somebody who sees an opportunity or a problem and tries to find a solution to that, a creative solution. They see maybe an opportunity and they're willing to take risk to go out and, and help people or make the world a better place, uh, create a product or a service that the world needs. They're problem solvers is really what they are. What do you like most about the Social Entrepreneurship Program? So what I love to see in students' faces is when students discover that they're entrepreneurial, the kind of passions that they have to make a difference in people's lives, all of a sudden begin to surface as they go through classes and they realize they actually are entrepreneurial in nature. Uh, they're creative, uh, they have desires to make a difference, and they all of a sudden start to discover gifts that God's given them and they develop them and they come up with business ideas and proposals. For me, that's really exciting because all of a sudden I get to see students actually putting into practice who God's created them to be to help others. And that's super fun, like that's super cool. What if someone doesn't feel like an entrepreneur? Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting point. A, a lot of times I'll ask my students, what is an entrepreneur? And they'll say somebody like Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg or something like that. Like the most extreme example, right? Um, which no doubt those people are entrepreneurial. But what's interesting about them is most of them didn't start there. Mm -hmm. They just were passionate about something. They wanted to make a difference in some way and they just kind of pursued it. And all of a sudden they started having success and made a difference. I think a lot of our students, they come in and they go, I don't, I'm not that person. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. Do you want to make a difference? Yeah. Do you have skills that you can offer people? Well, yeah, I think I do, right? God created me to help others. Um, are you willing to take the risk to do that? And as they discover that, they realize they actually are entrepreneurial. So even though I would say, if you're watching and you're thinking, well, clearly you're watching. <laughs> if, if you think I'm not entrepreneurial, don't sell yourself short. God knows who you are and he's created you to help others. I know that because that's what scripture tells me. So you have gifts to uh, benefit other people. So really an entrepreneur is just somebody who's willing to take that risk and go for it. And there's lots of counts in the Bible. Proverbs 31, that woman is an entrepreneur, like par excellence, she's amazing. Uh, the Apostle Paul, like there are so many entrepreneurs in the Bible. So why study business at a Bible college? Oh, that's a good question. And I face that a lot. Um, just full disclosure, my undergrad is in biblical studies. I love the Bible. My master's is in business and I've got work in both. I was a pastor. I also worked in finance. So I've kind of been in both realms. The reason I think it's important to study both is that the Bible is the foundation for everything. It, it gives us understanding on how we ought to treat people, how we ought to look after creation, how we ought to behave, it, whether or not we should make profit our primary objective. Jesus doesn't really give us that option. Like it's, it's something we do, but that's not really our priority. So the Bible has a lot to say about business and it's fine to study business at a, at a university where you just focus on business. In my opinion, you don't get a holistic approach to life and what's really important. So to me, studying the Bible and business together is so fun because God has a lot to say about how we ought to behave. Luke's parable of the talents, the parable of the talents in the Gospel of Luke, is the hero really the guy who goes out and makes twofold or tenfold? Or is it the guy who actually buries his money in the ground? You have to come to class to find out the answer to that one. <laughs> So what do your grads do after the program's over? 
So we're a two-year uh, program, a diploma. So a lot of our students will go on to further education. So they come to Columbia Bible College, they want that solid biblical foundation. They want to grow in business. Maybe they want to learn about business from a biblical worldview. A lot of them will do that and then they'll go off to places like University of Fraser Valley or UBC or SFU. These are our local universities. And they'll pursue further education. Um, some will go to Trinity. Uh, Western University. Others will just kind of start their own side business. They'll go into the marketplace and work or in ministry and they'll start side bus businesses. So kind of a little bit of everything. How is this program practical? So I think this program is incredibly practical. One, because we start with the Bible and the Bible is incredibly practical about how we ought to love one another, look after each other, look after creation and follow God. So that's number one. Number two, you take a lot of exciting classes like accounting, uh, marketing, nonprofit management, which teach you all the fundamentals about actually establishing a business or a charity, uh, running it. And, and I know for some people, they hear the word accounting and they go, oh, I love accounting for this reason. It, it gives me data to make decisions. Things like revenue and expenses. Where are you gonna spend your money? All of those fundamental principles we teach here at Columbia Bible College. So the business or the Bible component and then the business component together is incredibly practical. Oh, and by the end of the diploma, you'll actually be building a business plan that you could take out and fundraise or use to establish a business. What is the difference between a diploma in social entrepreneurship and getting your BBA? Right, so a BBA, for those of you watching, is a Bachelor of Business Administration. And it's kind of the, kind of the flagship business program. They're really, really good programs if you want to study nothing but business. Nothing wrong with that. Some people just want just business, business, business. Um, a BBA will have, out of the 120 credits, Gosh, 90% of those, like 115, 118 credits of that will be pure business, which is great if that's exclusively what you want to do. At a place like Columbia Bible College, you study the Bible, you study leadership, and you study business. So you get a well-rounded perspective. So in my opinion, I love our diploma because you get to taste a little bit of everything. You get versed in a lot of things. And quite frankly, you may be trying to figure out who God's created you to be. I know that's how I was and still am. I'm still learning. So BBAs are awesome. Uh, some of our students have gone on to do BBAs. In fact, one of our students took accounting. Her first accounting class was with me at CBC and she went on and she did a Bachelor of uh, Business Admin in accounting at uh, U University of Fraser Valley. So you can still do that. But in my opinion, it's great to get a first couple years under your belt and be holistically equipped. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And you get to study the Bible. That's so cool. So Curtis, if students are wondering more about the program and they have specific questions, would you be willing to meet with them one-on-one -on -one or can they reach out to you directly? Absolutely. I would love to chat with them. That's one of the things I enjoy most is connecting with students. So if you have questions, you're, you're maybe you're not sure, you just wonder if it's a good fit for you, I will do my best to be transparent, to be honest. I won't try to sell you CBC over something else. I'll, I'll listen to who you are and what God's put on your heart. Uh, you can always reach out to me at curtis.kubi at columbiabc.edu. And Tina and the crew in admissions are happy to send uh, my information to you. And I'm always willing to chat. Would love it. It'd be great. <laughs>